Welcome inside our postgame coverage on BWYellowJackets.com after probably the best 20 minutes of basketball the Jackets have played all year. Came out of the halftime locker room and dominated Otterbein. It was an 87-63 win. And we're here with head coach Sherry Herrer. Sherry, this was a game that was a four-point game at the break. And, and honestly, I thought both teams played a fairly evenly matched game early on. What changed? We communicated in the second half. Uh, we had no communication, didn't play with a lot of energy in the first half, didn't rebound well. They came out and did a great job in the second half with those parts of the game. Otterbein is a team that struggles to rebound the basketball. Today's final rebounding margin was plus 15 in your favor. It was only plus one at half. So how yeah. much was that a point of emphasis for you this week coming into this game? Uh, it was huge. We've been out rebounded six straight games. We needed to get back on track on the rebounding. How about the fact that Otterbein is such a good free throw shooting team? In the first half, they only shot three free throws, and the bulk of their 20, uh, let's see, the bulk of their 17 for the game came in the second half, kind of when things were out of the equation. How much was that an emphasis for you? Absolutely huge. We, we, we said there were a couple things we wanted to take away. We wanted to take away the three, and we wanted to take play clean. Uh, normally, we try to take away the three, and we call it the house, the, the area around the basket. We just wanted to make sure that area around the basket, we played clean. Take away the three, force them to make tough twos was our goal. How about from uh, an individual perspective? Hannah Feck probably had her, her second best game of the year, certainly her best game in recent memory just from scoring the basketball. We talk all the time about all the different things she does, but I know she likes to see the uh, scoreboard light up when she's putting them in. Is it fun for you as a coach to see her hard work pay off like that? Yeah, I mean, we, we need Hannah to be the, the Hannah you saw today. Like. It, it, we, we need a go-to. We need somebody. We can put the ball in their hands and get a bucket. And uh, she showed some great signs today. She finished with a, a game, or I should say a team-high 19. Before we let you go, I, I think it's easy to draw the comparison because of uh, the game you just played on Wednesday, an emotional game against a really good team in Ohio Northern. How often do you see a team come out and play inspired like this when they come off of a loss against a really good team? That's a tough thing to do. I'm sure, you know, Ohio Northern was in the same boat coming off of Marietta for us. And, um, you know, the research actually shows they have data that supports the fact that most upsets occur after a big game for either the winner or the loser. But uh, our back's against the wall, and we have goals we want to achieve yet, and we needed to come out and, and play hard and, and go for it. This was probably your most complete performance of the year. Loved watching it. Congratulations. Thank you, Brendan. All right, more when we come back with Tom Spencer joining us to continue our postgame coverage in a moment.